Chris, what is our third main topic today? Our third topic comes from Booli Tan. Greetings from Malaysia crew. Just saw on Variety that HBO is moving The Last of Us episode 5 to February 10th, 9 p.m. Eastern to avoid Super Bowl Sunday. Glad we have two game days. <laughs> and will the after show come earlier? All right. Thanks a lot for sending that in. And you know, it's funny because just a couple of days ago, somebody wrote in and talked about and reminded us that, hey, John, episode five of The Last of Us, it's on Super Bowl Sunday. Which are you going to watch first? And I'm like, well, do you guys know how much I've been loving The Last of Us? I will eat, I will watch the game and then it's still going to be sitting there on HBO Max ready for me to watch The Last of Us episode five when the Super Bowl is over. But definitely going to watch both. But Super Bowl comes first. It's once a year. Well, apparently that is a problem I don't need to worry about because the people at HBO apparently have a lot of wisdom and they decided to take episode five and move it off of Super Bowl Sunday. Sort of. It kind of isn't. It kind of isn't. This comes from the folks over at IndieWire who write the following. The Last of Us will premiere its fifth episode early on HBO Max and on demand on Friday, February the 10th at 9 p.m. Eastern Time, that's 6 p.m. for us in Los Angeles, two days before its broadcast premiere. Although the episode will still premiere on HBO's linear channels on Sunday, February 12th at 9 p.m. Eastern Time, the early streaming premiere is almost certainly intended to avoid a situation where the episode's ratings get cannibalized by Super Bowl viewing. The annual sporting event is typically one of the highest rated broadcasts each year, with last year seeing... <clears throat> 112.3 million viewers on NBC and streaming, uh, or, you know, 10 times what Game of Thrones would get. Anyway, this year's game sees the Philadelphia Eagles and Kansas City Chiefs compete, and Rihanna just happens to be headlining the iconic halftime show. Mm -hmm. If you're HBO, this is the common sense thing to do. Now, they're, they're kind of playing it both ways. If you watch, if you are still one of those people like, my grandparents, I suppose, who watch HBO on its linear cable television thing, that is when Last of Us Episode 5 will still air on this Sunday. But if you watch it on HBO Max, the streaming service, that will drop early on the Friday. So I will be watching it on Friday. Very excited to watch it on Friday. Hell of a UFC coming up on Saturday, too. But that's, that's another thing for another time. Uh, so that I'm definitely going to do that. Now, as far as the after show goes, we will not wait three days to do an after show of Last of Us Episode 5 on Monday. So what will happen is I will do a solo uh, Last of Us open spoiler discussion for Episode 5, either on the Saturday or on the Sunday. Probably Saturday. I won't want to do it on Super Bowl Sunday. So on Saturday, I will be doing the after show solo for Episode 5. So that's how we're going to work that out. Anyway, Chris, I mean, listen, it, it's it's not good. I think everybody knows it's not good business to put up your programming against the Super Bowl. Yeah. Um, was this the right move for them to move the debut of it to Friday? I think so. I think it makes sense. Um, you know, I, I'm not a sports person and I watch the Super Bowl every year. It's for the commercials and the halftime show, but I'm still there <laughs> making wings. I think this makes sense. I, I also love, though, that last night was the Grammys and they were like, that's fine. <laughs> we're not concerned. Yeah. And they kept it on Sunday. <laughs> I think this is the right move, though. Um, and, you know, HBO themselves, I'm sure they've got ads running, too, during the Super Bowl, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, Are I'm they sure doing? they will. I, I mean, they're they're betting on people tuning into that instead of their own programming. So it makes sense to me. Rob, what do you think? Was it the right move to move it? I think absolutely. Why not? You know, it's it's one of their most successful shows airing now. Give people a chance to, to watch it for I know I'm going to do that. You know, I'm one of those guys that's sitting there at 559 you know, waiting for Last of Us to hit than I, I did yeah. last night, you know, so to get it earlier, I think is great. And obviously they, they don't want to, the problem is then in their, their analytics in six months, if someone's looking at their analytics for whatever reason, there's going to be a dip, you know, in episode five, which they're going to have to explain somewhere down the line. So what they're trying to do is to avoid that. So the analytics stay the same because all that information is ne is necessary. So I can understand. I think it's a smart move. And at least it shows that someone's thinking. Someone over there at HBO is going, you know, maybe we should do this on our biggest show. So somebody doesn't go, well, why did the why did the ratings dip for episode five? Is it not as popular? No, it's Super Bowl. So now they have a way to alleviate that problem, which I think is good. And the nice thing, too, this is one of the advantages of being a streaming service. With traditional broadcast television, 
you got to worry about lineups and you got to worry about schedule and you got to worry about all because if you move this thing here then you're bumping something else out of the time slot and blah blah online streamer drop it wherever you want it doesn't matter it's just when do you make it available it's like youtube videos dropping it doesn't really matter so they're taking advantage of that guys question is what do you think do you think they should have gone nah screw the super bowl go head to head with it or was it the right move to move it out to the friday whatever you guys think jump down to the comment section below and let us know your thoughts guys we want to thank a sponsor of this video rocket money the average person has around 12 paid subscriptions think about that if you think you're only subscribed to a handful of services, you might want to double check. With Rocket Money, you can quickly identify and cancel all of your unwanted subscriptions. Rocket Money, formerly known as Truebill, is a personal finance app that finds and cancels your unwanted subscriptions, monitor your spending, and helps you lower your bills all in one place. Rocket Money will quickly and easily identify your subscriptions for you so you can stop paying for the ones you don't want and don't even use. Simply find the subscription you don't want and press cancel and Rocket Money will cancel it for you. No more long hold times with customer service or tedious emailing back and forth. Rocket Money makes canceling subscriptions as easy as the click of a button. My wife Ann and I moved out of Burbank two years ago and one of the first things I discovered when I loaded up Rocket Money was that I was still paying for a gym membership I haven't even been to in Burbank in two years. So stop throwing away your money. Cancel unwanted subscriptions and manage your expenses the easy way by going to Rocket Money rocketmoney.com slash campia that's rocketmoney.com slash campia rocketmoney.com slash campia